Hi people, it's Lisa, Special Agent 666, Emissary of Fate, Feralux, all my various names online, the Devil's Advocate that you know of, okay? It's March 31st, 2024, Easter Sunday, my holiday, <laughs> the Goddess Ishtar, you know. So anyway, I'm going to now start doing podcasts, all right? And it sounds a way to me because it's just really vlogging. It's what everybody used to do back in the day. Um, that's what they are. All right. Opinion vlogs. And because of the trend of the podcasting world out there, you have to now kind of feel like you, you need to reshift it a certain way to do it a certain way and start presenting it as that. And I'm now doing a different set of videos introducing it into my work and weaving it into my work somehow i may or may not include specific ones because i may pick up on topics every now and then that i'm going to want to do so there's not going to be any kind of set program for now simply because it's more or less what i used to do back in the day with the numerous videos that i shared on youtube and other spaces those same videos that I got around many years ago that I recently dumped simply because I was dealing with harassment issues and still am to some extent from a personality and a group of that personality's cohorts assisting him in trying to terrorize me online and interfere with me as if I'm his lady. So. I got rid of those videos simply because and they were there for like 12 13 years at least up there because they were a part of my staple so when i felt like i wanted to do new ones i would go in there and get a new one done all right and it would be talking about whatever the interest is at the time most recently a couple years ago on my special agent 666 channel i decided to do a video series having covering topics having to do with um agentry stuff all right because i was making the channel specifically more about that because all my channels had mixed content more or less all right so i was shaping that one up to more feature things having to do with that and it actually benefits anybody that has an interest in these community surveillance issues that people talk about, but you're not really hearing it the right kind of way that you should really be hearing it because people deal with it. They don't really talk about it, but the broadcast where you hear people really communicating issues concerning it, you know, you have the one or two episode and then that's it. So I was giving like a behind the scenes kind of perspective of it and, and what I really think. And it's really nothing for people to really be offended about. Of course, I'm going to get these videos back up at some point somewhere. But the reason why these videos existed in the first place is, again, if you have 100 people talking about a topic, most of them are going to be more or less saying the same thing. It's only really a handful that may be able to tap into a different aspect of that topic which is what I strive to do all right because what I don't want to do is say something that is already out there you know someone already said 50 people already said and that's fine because I'm saying it too but I also want to introduce this other perspective that you may not have considered that actually makes sense to present so some people take offense to what I'm trying to reveal and they overreact to things instead of leaving it alone. And I can count on people that are not very bright to do that. Because somebody bright, whether that topic affects you or not, would know that you have a lot more to gain by leaving it alone. You, you have a greater perspective there. All right? Because again, if I fine tune how I present something, okay, I mean... The self-censorship more benefits me than whoever is trying to silence me. And that's just how I look at that. All right. Now, with the emissary of fate, 
that channel was supposed to feature mainly supernatural stuff. That's how it really began with that. And then I started getting rid of the old um, vlogging videos, the ones that didn't matter anymore. And the thing is, that channel was featuring my whole series concerning curses, blessings, spiritual stuff that other people talk about. And some of the stuff they say are so, some of it really isn't. And I'm trying to give you a different perspective on the topic. And again, whoever is stalking and harassing me, as I have some inkling as to who it is that I expose on my article, my thing is, that has nothing to do with you. And anything that I'm doing and working on has absolutely nothing to do with you. All right? Um, if I'm talking to people of a particular community that deal with these type of topics and I'm a person of color doing it and you can get around to all the other people that talk about these topics themselves to whoever their community is because there's always a greater community and then there's a niche community and I'm trying to reach people dealing with that topic all right so it really doesn't matter uh, which segment of the community they're coming from. What matters is, does it apply to you? Does it feel like something that makes sense to you? And I'm revealing things that are, other people are not really saying or have noticed. That's not um, a green light to interfere or obstruct with what I'm trying to do. All right? Because in all reality, there's really no reason for this person to be in the picture. All right? They have nothing to offer, nothing creative to present, nothing intelligent to offer, because if they did, they would be making their own damn videos. They will be posting stuff that have some sort of validity or meaning to them. And again, I'm a creative person. It's not a problem for me to do. So getting back to this podcast stuff, it would feature a range of different things I may decide to do. Um, I would do other videos having to do with other things. So when that time comes, stay tuned.